I'm not losing weight? In my previous video, I shared with you one reason why this might be happening and here are another four reasons why. The first thing that I want to say is that if you have been in a calorie deficit for a period of time and you haven't lost any weight, then you are not in a calorie deficit. And all five reasons are based on the fact that you have already calculated your calories and you are tracking your food. So reason number one that I mentioned in my previous video is that you are inaccurately tracking. Reason number two is that you are tracking accurately Monday through Thursday, but then the weekend comes and you just go YOLO with your calories. And unfortunately, all calories count, even the ones you eat during the weekend. Going too crazy with your calories during the weekend might take you out of your deficit. And you have to understand that you don't need to give up your social life if you're in a calorie deficit, but you do need to plan accordingly. And if you have a big fat loss goal, then you might need to make some sacrifices. So let's say that your deficit calories are 1,650, and we multiply that by seven days of the week, we have that your weekly calories should be 11,550. If you know your nutrition Monday through Thursday, but then you go YOLO during the weekend, so let's say that you eat 2,500 calories during the weekend, this put your weekly average on 14,100 calories. That is an extra 2,550 calories. This is why your weekend habits are so important. So you might consider doing calorie cycling, which is a great option for some people, but I definitely don't recommend it for all. Let's get into reason number three, overestimating your TDEE. So your TDEE is your total daily energy expenditure and it has four components, your BMR, your NEAT, your TEF, and your PAL. All these four components have been taken into account when calculating your TDEE. This number is super important because it's your predicted maintenance. So that means this is the amount of energy your body needs to maintain its weight on a daily basis. The most common way to calculate your TDEE is using an online calculator, but these calculators will give you like a ballpark number that they're based on general population averages. So your number might be higher or lower than this number. So what can you do? The easiest way is to track your food and your weight for two or three weeks and see what happens with your weight, if it goes up or down. So this means that you need to become data obsessed. So you need to track everything and then adjust your calories accordingly. Okay, so another reason why you might not be losing weight in a calorie deficit is because you're not accounting for sips, leaks, and bites. Like I said before, every calorie counts even if you don't count them. So make sure that you're tracking all these mindless snacks. This can really add up and screw your deficit. So if you're in a 200 or 300 calorie deficit a day, all these little snacks might really screw up your deficit. So you might think that you are in a deficit and you are being consistent, but because you're not accounting for all these little bites, then you are not actually seeing results. So think of things like the peanut butter knife, or maybe picking the foods from your kid's plate. All these things really add up, and if you don't account them for, then you might screw up your deficit. And lastly, we have reason number five, which is that you might have overestimated your activity levels when calculating your TDEE. So remember, your TDEE is your total daily energy expenditure made out of four components. So your BMR, your PAL, your TEF, and your NEAT. When looking at your TDEE, there are two components that are related to you moving your body. So first, we have PAL, which is your, ex your planned exercise activity, and then we have your NEAT, which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So this refers to every movement that you do that is not planned exercise. So think of brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, blinking, frigiding, moving your hands when you talk, all of this. So when we calculate your TDEE in the online calculator, you have to select your activity level and you might see something like this. The problem is most people grossly overestimate how much they move and how active they are. And when we calculate your TDEE, if you choose the wrong one, then there's a big difference in calories. To calculate your TDEE, we need your biological sex, your height, your weight, and your age. And this gives you like a general number that it's quite average for everyone in the population. And then it's your activity level that will really set you apart from everyone else. For example, here we have different TDEE using my age, height, weight, and sex. And you can see there's almost 250 calorie difference between light activity and moderate activity. Okay, 250, it's not massive, I know, but it's enough to put you outside of your deficit 
but make you feel like you're putting all the work, you're being consistent and doing everything right, but not seeing results. So going back to why people overestimate how much they move is because they are fixated with how many calories they burn during exercise. Resistance training burns far fewer calories than what you think and what your smartwatch is telling you. So what really affects your activity levels is how active you are outside of your training sessions. So when you have to choose your activity levels, think of how active you are during the day and not how many days of the week you train. Do you have a desk job? Are you on your feet all day? Are you a nurse or maybe a personal trainer or a constructor? So thinking of your daily activity and how active you are doing your job and your lifestyle will give you a lot more information about which activity level to choose on the calculator than just focusing on how many days you train. So when in doubt, just underestimate. All right, a few bonus reasons. One is that you're not sleeping enough. And the second one is that you're not managing your stress. Both these things can really impact your fat loss effort. If you missed reason number one, click this link to go watch it and remember to like, comment and subscribe and read the description below.